AI is taking over, the robots are taking the jobs, I don't think I'm going to get married to one of them. Look, what we need to realize here is that this is coming fast very fast and I think for a lot of people they're going to be sideswiped by all this and that's why in this video I will give you the information you need to know so that you're ahead of the curve so that you can realize things before it happens to you. You came here for the truth so let me unveil that for you. I'm going to show you some articles here. Unfortunately, not a lot of it is, is positive, uh, but I'm going to give you some insight as to what's going on in other industries as well. I'll link to that at the end of this video. You got to stay tuned, okay? First things first, AI chatbot usage causes concern among 70% of Japanese adults. They're saying, hey, we don't want this. A lot of people are saying that they're concerned. I heard a little bit of insight here from somebody in my family who is saying, everybody in my class is using uh, ChatGPT to do their work. I said, you better be careful about that, okay? IBM to pause hiring for jobs that AI could do. Roughly 7,800 IBM jobs could be replaced by AI and automation. What do you think? The CEO is pausing hiring for replaceable roles. Already happening today, 2023, right now. If they're thinking to themselves, wait a minute, do you think that maybe we can do AI for this? Like, why not? They're going to say, yeah, let's just, let's just hold off right here. The economy is kind of real sketchy right now. Let's just hold. Okay. We'll keep doing what we're doing. We're not going to expand. We're going to stop right here and we're going to implement artificial intelligence to do those tasks. And that's going on a lot. A lot of the time we're seeing that. AI chatbots have been used to create dozens of news content farms. It's much more than that, by the way. So think about it like a content farm. In one aspect, it could be, for example, you take a really popular person, Elon Musk. Every time Elon Musk tweets, you can make an entire article out of that. You can make an Instagram post out of that. And they do, by the way. You see that garbage out there, just like throwing, like there's so much worthless news out there. Uh, Elon Musk scratches his nose and it, it's an article. That's what's going on. And a lot of that can be written by AI already. It already is. Tweet happens, automatically gets fed into something like a chat GPT, automatically gets posted uh, through various sites that, you know, Zapier or whatever that make that link happen. They post it up uh, through one of these mediums and there it is. That's it. Content just come in constantly without human intervention. That means why, what I, why do I mention that is because um, we are losing the need to have a lot of these journalists that aren't actually doing any investigation. The White House is pro probing how companies use AI to surveil and manage workers, lawmakers around the US, target tech used to control the workforce. AI worker monitoring poses risks to safety and mental health, of course, but they're, they're doing this. Uh, you know, the government's doing it, let's not forget, as well as uh, all the companies, they're doing that. Backlash against AI supermodels triggers wider fears in the fashion workforce. Why would you need a human being if you can do so in a digital realm? If somebody's looking at a picture on or a video on their phone or on their website because you're looking through and you're trying to, you know, choose some clothes to buy, let's say. More people are buying their clothes online. Why does it matter if it's a human being or a digital if I can't really tell the difference? Why wouldn't you just use that? Well, of course, that's what they're doing. They're doing this now. So that's just one more industry that could be rapidly disrupted. Rapidly. Okay, overnight. As long as the tech gets better as it is, we see that. And then we go on connected with that with Hollywood. Wes Anderson directing Star Wars AI trailer mimicking filmmaker style divides social media. Basically saying like they, somebody created this AI uh, artwork and essentially um, it's showing us like you know, a different interpretation of that. And just saying that, you know, with what we saw with the fake Drake, AI Drake and all these others, I think Kanye West and others where the music wasn't even created by them, but it took their voice, it learned it and then um, they made music from it. So we, the same thing could happen with video as well. We, we like, I think it really levels the playing field in, in some ways where we don't have the, uh, 
monopolies that have all the control where if we have the same technology, well, then we can make great content. Well, then we could utilize that as well. And it's infinitely scalable. The fact like what's different between you and, and a Google, let them not, maybe not Google, but one, one big establishment, a multi-million dollar or even billion dollar establishment is their ability to scale. So they can scale up, but if we have some of the same technologies, then we can also scale up, right? It, you know, you could have somebody in, in a vehicle, one in the other vehicle, the other vehicle, and as long as they're essentially the same type of vehicle, those people, doesn't matter what kind of person's behind the wheel, ultimately they can both move in the same direction. I hope you get what I'm saying there with that analogy. Former open AI researcher, there's a 50% chance, 5-0, chance AI ends in catastrophe. We don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people do say that because they're not putting it in check. They're just expanding it at the fastest rate. Why? Because of money. Let's be honest. Let's be honest about that. Okay. So the next aspect here, we go into some, some different elements of AI. And one of them is like the social media where this is Snapchat. Social networks want to be conversational AI's killer app. So what happened here was apparently uh, the Snapchat Snapchat app, at the very top of the chats, uh, they put this new AI bot. So you can chat with it. People were like, well, I don't want this bot. Well, the, every company wants to have some sort of aspect of their company using AI. Or else, they're going to basically fade away into insignificance. So keep an eye on that for other companies as well. And even though it might not even be something useful, as in the case of Snapchat, people don't want it, they're going to do it anyway. This is uh, referring to Elon Musk and, you know, he didn't like what happened with OpenAI. Uh, he'd been talking about OpenAI for a decade and here we go. He started his own and here it is, Truth GPT. So he's not talking about the Truth GPS, by the way. This is not the Money GPS offshoot. I have nothing to do with this. It is Truth GPT. So we'll see what happens with that. I think there's going to be a lot more of these, uh, but he's just one guy that's surrounding that. The godfather of AI leads Google and warns of danger ahead. Google is really one that's been responsible for a lot of the problems that we are seeing today. Uh, so we'll see how they handle that. AI is getting better at mind reading. In a recent experiment, researchers used large language models to translate brain activity into words. This is positive. This is good. I'd be interested to know what it what it sees. We can we can you know I'm sure the Government will use that and they'll use it as a lie detector or something and get people to, you know, sort of manipulate them and then use it. Anyway, you know where I'm going with that. How AI is making brain cancer diagnosis faster than before. Positive, good stuff. I don't know what they're doing exactly and, you know, how this is going to get to the market, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we can do things like this and, and get the technology to people where they need it. New AI decoder can translate brainwaves into the translate brainwaves into text. Again, more of the same. I'm hopeful about that. If you have not seen this video yet, I broke it all down for you. Why the near future is going to be very different. We're talking about artificial intelligence. We're talking about what's going on with, you know, your social credit scores, central bank digital currencies. If you haven't seen it, you got to know because you want to know the future, right? Right here, click this video and I'll see you there.